So this is the principle. If you don't have your brother with you, you cannot enter into the kingdom of God to ask him anything. And Jesus is our brother. You cannot go. That's why. That's why. When Isaac's son, Joseph, uh, Isaac's son, Jacob, went in with his father, to his father to receive the blessing, what he has to wear? The dress of his brother. The smell of his brother. The hair like his brother. The song has to be like the brother. The food has to be cooked like brother. And who knew it? His mother. Holy Spirit is our mother. Jesus is our brother. We cannot go and receive the blessings of Father unless we have the smell of Jesus in our life. Amen. Unless we have the righteousness of Jesus in our life. Unless our color is like Jesus. Jesus was not black or white. The Bible says his color is red. The color of blood. Blood is red. So I don't believe in white church and black church. I believe in one church. That is the church of the Lord Jesus Christ. The church which is red with the blood of Jesus. This is man who is saying this is a black church. This is a white church. This is an Indian church. This is a Pakistani church. The church is not like this. It's red with the blood of Jesus. Hallelujah. 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 If Jesus is not a divine truth in your life, then you are missing things in your life. Because Bible says John 1 11, and I, I'm just quickly going now because the time is over and I have to pray. John 1 11 and 12. If someone accepts him, he give him right. R I G H T to become the sons and daughters of God. Yes, yes, sir. He doesn't say yes, if you are American, then you have the uh, uh, right to become sons and daughters of God. If you are without Christ, there's no wealth. Bible says in Colossians 1 1 14, in Christ. This is the basic teaching. The preaching is this, that you must accept Christ in your life. But the next step is this, you must go into Christ. For the beginners, you must accept Christ. But when he accepts him, he must go in Christ. That's the baptism. So we are satisfied that Christ is in me, in me, with me, in me. That's not enough. If you have to do what he was doing, if you have to go to the dead people and tell them to wake up and stay and arise in the name of Jesus, if you have to go on the grave of Lazarus and call Lazarus, come out of the grave. And if you say to the lame, walk in the name of Jesus, it is me. It, it must be that you are in Jesus, not Jesus in you. Not Jesus in you. That was the basic ABC. That's the preaching. But the, you are a believer. You need a teaching that you must go into Jesus. That's why Peter and Paul and John said, We do not have silver and gold. What we have. <coughs> what, what is the baptism of the Holy Spirit? Where does the Holy Spirit baptize you? He baptizes you. The Holy Spirit baptizes you in Jesus. The Holy Spirit takes a believer and puts him into the sea, which is Jesus. Come on. Yes, sir. That's why. And the prophet Ezekiel says, the water was till here, till here, till here. And then it was, I all was in the waters. When you have what in the water, that's the river of living waters. How long will be powerless? How long the devil will come and make divorces in our family? How long he will take our children to drugs and alcohol? How long he will destroy our families with finances? Because we are still waiting here. Jesus is in me. 
but we have not tried to go into Jesus.